Hello, Captain Fister Smith Boyle here from New Zealand. Now today I'm going to show you how to make your very own pirate costumes. It don't cost much money and you don't need that much to do it. Now you can be as creative and flamboyant as you like. Boys and girls can be pirates, it don't matter. But the first thing I will need is a cheeky little monkey as a model. No offence Louise. And to do that I need to summons the magic of the wind. Hello, welcome. <laughs> How are you? I'm hungry. Nice to meet you, hungry. All right then. Now uh, I don't need my model right at this point in time, so luckily I've got a little bit of wind still saved left in me. And uh, here it comes. You wait. Here we go. <gasps> uh. All right. Now the first stage of making our pirate costume, the first thing we're going to need is an old pair of pants and an old shirt. Now I suggest you go through your drawers and uh, pull out something old that might be a bit short in the sleeve or a little bit short in the leg. And uh, word of advice, do not pull out your Sunday best clothes because quite frankly you do that, you're probably going to get a flick on the ear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach into my uh, magical wheelie bin over here and see what I can find. And lo and behold, there you go, it's magic. I have a nice pair of uh, pants and a shirt there. Wheel the old bin away. And uh, let's have a look. Now, on my shirt, you will notice along the bottom, there are little zigzags all the way along. And you will notice that on the sleeves, there are these little zigzags on there too. Both sleeves on both sides. All right, so that's your shirt. Now your pants, what I did with my pants is uh, I put those little zigzags across the bottom. I cut them a little bit shorter. And the way I did that was I reached into my, uh, my, my craft box and uh, I pulled out some trusty scissors from my arty farty box and uh, I used those there to cut those little, little angles all the way along. That's all you need for stage one. Now the next thing I'm going to need is my model to come back. So I'm going to summon the magical powers of the wind! <laughs> and there she is in our brand new pirate shirt with little frilly ends, little angles there. And the pants, look at those little frillies at the bottom there. How do you feel? You look amazing. You alright? Good. Okay. Now I'll, I'll, I'm going to pop you off again and uh, we'll see you again soon. Here we go. Last little puff of wind. Uh, huh. Oh, <laughs> um, now the next stage of our pirate costume, uh, you're going to need a, um, a scarf to go around your head. But like my nice little maroon one. I'm quite fond of this one. I've had it for a while now. And you're also going to need a scarf to go around your waist. You can tie it up in the front there like that. Now what I reckon you should do is uh, talk to your mum and dad, see if you can rummage through their drawers and see what you can find. Now I'm going to rummage through my uh, magical wheelie bin and uh, see what I'm going to fish out of here like. Now, oh look at that, there you go. Never fails to amaze me that that is a bottomless rubbish bin there. I'll wheel that away. Now uh, what I've got there's a nice little blue scarf there, which you can wear on your, your head there, nice and shiny, but quite silky. Could be any colour you like, don't have to be any specific colour. And I've got one here. This one's lovely, it's got flowers, and because I like flowers. And um, that one can just tie around your waist as well, so you've got your head scarf and your, uh, your waist scarf as well, there you go. So uh, what I need to do now is uh, bring back my uh, model to uh, dress her up so you can see what it looks like. And for that I need to summon the power, the magical power of the wind! <laughs> Welcome back. Look at you now, you've got your headscarf on, that is very lovely. And uh, you've got your, your waist band on with the little tassels. You're starting to look quite piratey. Oh, I'm starting to like the look of you. You look great. You're amazing. All right, now I'll just pop you off again. Here we go. Ah! <coughs> right, stage three. The next thing we need is an eye patch. Now, uh, not all pirates had one eye. No, some of them would wear an eye patch because uh, when you went from the light into the darkness of a ship, it was very hard to see. So what they would do is they would wear an eye patch. So one eye would be permanently in the dark. Then when they went into the dark, they'd flick up the eye patch and the eye could see much clearer because it was used to the dark. Now uh, I'm going to reach into my magical wheelie bin and see if I can find an eye patch right now. 
There we go. And here we go. Oh yes, right on cue. There we are. One lovely eye patch. Now, uh, that was very easy to make. What I did was I, uh, I needed some black paint and a paintbrush. Now I also needed uh, some scissors from the Arty Farty box and uh, I needed some elastic. I needed some elastic as well. So uh, what I did was I uh, got myself, oh, there we go, that'll do, a bit of cardboard and I cut myself out, just drew around it with a pencil and basically cut out my shape. Once I had my shape, I then uh, cut two little holes, one slot there and one slot there and I threaded the elastic through both sides like that and then I uh, can put that on my face like that and I tie it at the back so it's nice and comfortable and that there is my eye patch so uh, obviously what I need to do now is uh, bring back my model and for that I need to summon the magical powers of the wind <laughs> and there you are look at you with your eye patch on you look amazing that is great all right then so we're getting there people it's not too long now we've got a couple more things to add and you are going to look the bee's knees I promise you here we go I'll just pop you off again and I don't know about you, but I'm starting to get quite excited. I think it's starting to look quite good already. But um, believe me, it's going to get a lot better yet. Now, the next step is we need to make some adornments. And by that, I mean some nice shiny belt buckles to go on our, uh, our, our waist scarf. And also some shiny buckles to go on, uh, on your shoes. Now, um, I think what I'll do is I'll reach into my magical wheelie bin and I'll see what I can find. Here it comes. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yes. Don't get no better than this one. Look at that. Now that there is a shiny belt buckle for your waist scarf. That is blimmin' amazing, that is. And here, I have some more shiny buckles which uh, you can fasten to your shoe like that. All right, now you're probably thinking, what's that elastic stuff on there for? Well, that's so that you can uh, slot that over your shoe and under by your heel, and it just sits on the top of your shoe like that, all nice and straight. All right, now I'm gonna show you how I made those and they're really quite simple. All you're gonna need is uh, some cardboard. Out of the arty farty box it comes. And uh, this color here, I mean, you can use any color you like for your, your buckles, but I didn't have any gold. So what I tried to do uh, is I, I mixed some orange paint and yellow paint together and I created this color there. And uh, the next thing you notice, there's a, there's a black line around it with some little squiggly bits to give it a bit of texture. And what I did, I got some black paint and I also uh, reached into my arty farty box and I found me a little brush which is often quite troublesome to find but there it is right there and uh, that there I uh, got the old brush there and do that put some black paint on it and I painted my little squiggles around it like that you could use a, I guess a, a black felt tip pen might be easier but I'm old school and I use my little uh, little brush there with some black paint all right, so that's uh, pretty much that. You'll notice um, with the, uh, the buckles on the shoes, they're made the same way. But what I did was um, I got some elastic and I just threaded it through like that and tied a little knot at the bottom. And they slip over up there, just thread it through. And then it slips through there, ties on the bottom of your shoes. That's all I did. And uh, they, don't, they can be any shape you like. They don't have to be that shape. They can be round, they can be rectangle, they can be square, they can be any shape. They can be stars for all I care. It don't really matter. That's what I'm, I'm telling you. Get as creative as you possibly can be. But you just draw yourself a shape, cut it out with your trusty uh, arty farty scissors, and then you uh, cut little, a couple of little gaps in there like that, and that's where you can thread your elastic through. All right, so that there is your, your belt buckle. And these here are your buckles for your shoes. Now, uh, you're probably thinking, well, what, I, what, what do I do for shoes? Well, I'm gonna tell you. You reach into your magical wheelie bin like me, and you see what you can find. 
And uh, what have we got in here? There we go. Pair of black shoes. Like that. Quite shiny too. That would be quite nice. And then you uh, you put your uh, your buckle over the top like that with the elastic, and you squeeze it out like that. And then your buckle sits on your shoe like that. And that is pretty flash. What do you reckon? I reckon that's pretty flash. I really do. And um, inside, uh, oops, stinky socks, uh, but they are white. That's quite nice. So you can put your little white socks on with your shoes like that and they will fall in there like that and your little red pants will come down to about here and I reckon that's looking uh, pretty flash already um, but now of course what I need to do is summons the magical power of the wind and bring back my model <laughs> welcome back goodness me look at you now you've got your shiny belt buckle there and your oh, look, magical white socks and uh, shiny shoes and your gold buckles. You are looking uh, pretty swish, I have to say. Um, remember, kids, one thing you do have to do and think about is uh, what your pirate name is going to be. Um, and um, you've got plenty of time to think of your pirate name, so don't worry about that yet. Um, but I'll pop you off now. Here we go. And ready for the, uh, with the power of the magical winds and all. Here we go. <gasps> uh, look out, Brussels Sprout, because now we're on to the next stage. Think about what we've got so far. We've got our... Uh, we've got our shirt, we've got our pants, we've got our headscarf, our waist scarf, we've got our eye patch, we've got our buckled shiny shoes and socks, and now it's the piece de la resistance. It's the pirate hat, would you believe? Now, your pirate hat can be anything you want it to be. It can be big, it can be small, it can be black, white, colourful, it can be covered in flowers. It's entirely up to you. But firstly, I'm going to reach into my magical wheelie bin and show you what I created. And I'm quite proud of this one. Here it comes. Wait for it. Oh yeah. What do you reckon of that one? What do you reckon? That's pretty good, I thought. Yeah. Now uh, I'll show you what you're going to need to make this one, right? That's our hat there. Oh, we'll put the lid on me, uh, me old wheelie bin. Wheel it away. All right, let's have a look at it. So, there's, uh, there's three parts to this one. And there's your little piece at the top here. I call that a rosette. Now I cut that out of a little piece of uh, cardboard. Just a bit bigger than that. Obviously I've only got a small bit here. And I got out some scissors. And I got my, uh, my pencil out. And I drew me a shape. Kind of like that. It doesn't have to be like this. It could be anything you like. But I cut out a shape, drew it out, cut it out, and then uh, I coloured it in. And I used uh, felt tip pens to colour this in. It doesn't have to. It could be pencils. You can use your paint, whatever you feel like. And uh, I had um, in my arty farty box a few little stick-on diamante things, which I positioned on there like that. And uh, that was my rosette part. All right, so that was that. And you'll note that that is stapled with a uh, trusty old stapler here. I stapled that onto this side of the hat. The hat is made up with two parts. There's a front and a back. And it's stapled through the middle there and through there to the shape of, uh, of my model's head. All right, and that's that. So that's it, and it's um, made up of cardboard. Same as this, I got myself an old cardboard box and I drew a shape which I liked and I cut it out with my trusty scissors like that and then I got my black paint there, my uh, paint and my, my large brush and I painted the whole thing only on one side and I let that dry and then the other side obviously I cut that out the same shape with my trusty scissors and I painted that with black paint as well, let that dry. And then I stuck the old uh, rosette piece on with my stapler before I assembled the hat. Once I had the two halves assembled, I basically got it like that and I put it on my model's head and I pinched it where it kind of fit on both sides nicely and I stapled it with my trusty stapler through there, all the way along. And I did the ends as well. 
And uh, that there is my wonderful pirate hat. And as I said, I'm very proud of that. It's actually quite lovely. And uh, yeah, that's all you really need. But uh, obviously what I need to do now is um, I need to put this onto my model. So I'll need to, uh, you know the drill. I'll need to summon the power of the magical winds. <laughs> Goodness me, look at you now. Hurrah, you are looking amazing. Goodness me, a shiny, bedazzling uh, rosette at the top there, and that hat looks uh, perfect fit, to be honest. We are getting so close now, you are starting to look, uh, actually, you're starting to look uh, better than me. <laughs> okay, well, I'm just gonna pop you off. Here we go, you ready? Uh, one, more, one more little puff of wind. <sighs> now, as well as being a pirate, I'm actually a mind reader as well. And I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Captain Festus, you have literally blown my mind. I oh, know, I'm good at that. Now, uh, you're probably thinking, um, well, you know, if you're gonna be a pirate, don't you need a gun or a sword? Well, no, you don't, because we're pacifist pirates. And um, yeah, I'm gonna meet you halfway. What I'm gonna do is um, I'm gonna make you uh, well, I'm going to make you a cardboard sword, because quite frankly, that's as intense as warfare gets on my boat. All right, so uh, what I'll do now is I'll reach into my magical weenie bin. Here we go. And uh, reach in. And uh, uh, ta-da. <laughs> there you go. There is my cardboard pirate sword. You're thinking... I didn't think you were going to blow my mind anymore, but quite frankly, Captain Festus, you have. Oh, no. I told you I was good. Now, uh, I'll put my lid back on. And I will show you how you're going to make your cardboard sword. All right? Now, uh, all you're going to need is cardboard box, tin foil. Now, you'll notice with the tin foil, there is a flat side and a shiny side. You can use whatever side you like. If you want a flat sword, it can be that type. If you want a shiny sword, it can be that type. All right? So you're gonna need that. You're gonna need your trusty arty farty scissors. And you're gonna need your black paint. You're gonna need your brush. And uh, you're gonna need your stapler. All right, that's all you need. So, what I did was I got me cardboard box, and I opened it up, and I uh, got out my trusty pencil, and I drew myself a sword shape. All right, and I just uh, ignored this piece across here because I'll get to that bit. That's a bit a bit later on. So I just drew this sword with the handle and the blade, like that. Drew it out with a pencil. And I cut it out my trusty arty farty scissors. All right, that was that part. Now, the handle part, I painted with my black paint, like that, right? Both sides. Now, I know what you're thinking, because I'm a mind reader. You're thinking, well, that looks pretty thick to be just one piece of cardboard. And you know what? You are dead right. Because what I did was I cut out two identical pieces of cardboard and I joined them together to make it twice as thick all right and I painted both sides and then I wrapped the tin foil around the sword like that and I squished it on like that and uh, you're probably thinking but yeah no but my tin foil is going to fall off yeah well what I did was uh, I got my uh, I went into me uh, into me uh, secret drawer and I pulled out my sellotape and I put a little bit of tape to hold it in place that end and that end, and a couple of bits around this way and around this way. And you'll notice, if you have a look at my sword here, you can see there, you can see the sellotape. Just holding the tin foil on, but I'll tell you what, it ain't gonna come off now. Now, one thing I realized after I'd made that, that sword was that um, it was a bit wobbly. And I have to say, I'm, I'm getting on a bit, I'm a bit wobbly too. But what I did, uh, I thought, well, I've got to reinforce it somehow so it isn't so wobbly on the handle there. So I cut myself out with my cardboard, a couple of big long bits like that, both the same shape, and I put one around each side. And if I hold it like this, I'll show you, you can see there's like, goes around that way and around that way. 
once I got that on, I got my trusty stapler out and I stapled it all the way through, both sides, all the way through, like that. And that tends to make it a little bit stronger where it needs to be strong, all right? And uh, then I painted it black, obviously. But that is my pirate sword. Now, uh, that, what you can do with that one is you can put that down your, uh, down your waist scarf on the side there. And, uh, you know, I'm, I told you I'll meet you halfway. I don't mind if you have a, a sword fight with a cardboard sword, but that's about as, uh, as intense as it's ever going to get in my world. All right, so uh, what we'll do now is uh, we will call back in our, our model via the power of the magical winds. <laughs> and there you are. You look spectacular, madam. How do you feel? You look completely and utterly like a pirate, I have to say. I did say we would deliver an amazing costume today, and I think we have truly succeeded. I'll run you through what we've done today. Obviously, we started off with the shirt, and we cut the old zigzags on the, the sleeves of the waistband. The pants, we did the zigzags around the, uh, the bottoms there as well. The next thing we added to that was this beautiful blue scarf, which looks absolutely uh, the bee's knees. And then, of course, we had the, the uh, flower scarf around the waist. Then we added to that, I think it was the uh, the eye patch, which looks incredibly convincing, I have to say. And then, of course, the next step was the white socks with the shiny shoes and the uh, the shoe buckles there. And, of course, the big uh, belt buckle on the front there as well. And then, of course, after that, we went to the, the hat with its uh, bedazzling rosette, which is looking, um, yeah, I'm very well impressed with that one. That is just spot on and then of course the last thing was the cardboard sword all shimmering and shiny and I have to say you truly look spectacular how do you feel good all right well you can keep the costume I suppose what I should do now is pop you off with one little puff of wind back home all safe and I'll do that right now <laughs> Well, there you go. That's the uh, arts and crafts done. The model's been sent back home uh, with a free pirate costume, I might add. And uh, I hope you've had a lot of fun um, going through this process with me. Um, I've had a lot of fun, to be perfectly honest. Um, I do encourage you to check out my website, captainfestus.com. You can get onto all the other platforms from there, whatever you like. And remember, subscribe to our channels, like our pages, help us as much as you can. Hope to see you with your flash pirate costumes the next time we're in town. Join us, come and say hello. Take care until the next time we meet. On behalf of myself, Captain Festus McBoyle, over and out.